Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry Ken, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So season 31 continues and we still have this good old calendar events here. This this good old calendar. So we have the wrecked ship event, we have the community event, and we have this Blackboard PD event. But I don't think we'll be doing this Blackboard PD event today because a few days ago we've cleared the entire police department. I've opened up two purple cards. I still have 10 extra blues, so maybe today we'll be opening up one more purple card. I'm still not certain about it. So you make sure to check out the pinned comments down below. Because for those who don't know, this is a live stream and there are pinned comments down below. There are timestamps so you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker where we do some raids and other things. And speaking of raids, ladies and gentlemen, that's the main focus of today. We will be doing as many raids as possible. We'll try to we'll try to raid as many bases because check this out. The base is still not completely full, so we need to fill up this entire base. And only then we can stop raiding because check this out. Here we have a couple of slots that we need to fill up. And if I'm not mistaken, at the very top, we have almost an entire empty rack that needs to be filled with guns. So who knows? Maybe today's raids are going to bring us some uh, luck. And before we go to those raids, I'd like to say welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome to the stream. And to those that are watching this live stream after it's over, let me know in the comments down below. It's always nice to get your comments. And yeah, it looks like we have to go to the farm location. We need to find 52 Mike. I think we just found him. There we go. <laughs> Half of the job is done. So we need to go now to the farm location to open up that blue box. So let's get probably a few weapons. I'll get um, a Glock perhaps. There we go. Let's get this Glock, this Glock. I'll perhaps get this M16. I think that's more than enough weapons. I might as well bring a spread shot. There we go. Let's get that one spread shot for the farm location. I might as well bring a melee weapon, even though I'm not really planning to. Okay, we are going to use that melee weapon. I take my words back. We're going to use that melee weapon on the Revenger. That's the only place where I can use that melee weapon at the farm location. And hey, guys, hopefully all of you are having a great day. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Happy to see all of you there in the chat. Hello, hello, chat. Hello, hello, people. Let's get these things. I'm probably going to also get a little bit of food before we venture to that farm location. Now, let's hop on the chopper and let's get that. I'll say craft an M16 or a Glock for the meme. Can you even craft an M16? I don't remember. I do know it's possible to craft Glocks. And it is possible to craft an M16 for 17 titanium bars. 17! That's just sad. And the worst part isn't only the titanium. I mean, five carbon composites. That's kind of expensive. What about a Glock? Glock requires three carbon composites. I mean, if it didn't require 15 titanium bars, then maybe it'd be a, a bit easier. Like, getting gunpowder from the from the swamp is kind of fun, kind of interesting. It could be... could be. A, I don't think five gunpowder is expensive for a gun, maybe. I haven't crafted gunpowder, I don't know. But 15 titanium bars is definitely a bit too expensive. If it was a bit cheaper, maybe we would craft a few more weapons. Maybe crafting weapons wouldn't be... A stupid idea, but as of right now, it's kind of... <laughs> kind of silly, I'd say. Kind of dumb dumb. Kind of stupid. Infinity Swift says, Psych, leave my base alone. Do you have weapons in your base? Yes, Psych, I do. Then I'm going to come knocking at your door. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm sorry. Man's got to write. Man's got to get guns. Man's got to fill up those chests. New update for Frostburn on beta. Go check it or we unsubscribe, says It's Dark. Well, I'm sad to see you go. Sad to see you go, mate. Psych, so that means you're not gonna play Frostborn? Does it look like I'm gonna play, play Frostborn? What what game we're playing here right now? We're playing Last Day on Earth Survival. Frostborn. <laughs> Wait, have they really released a new update on Frostborn? I have no idea. Maybe we'll check it out at the end of the stream, but I doubt it. When will you go for all the spark plugs? We already have all the spark plugs. You can get the spark plugs at the highway. To unlock the highway, you need to do a few daily tasks. Uh, a few tasks in Act 2, and then you'll be able to unlock that highway. Yo, Matthew Spellman, welcome to the stream. Last arena event, I got a grenade launcher for AK and Drum Magazine also for AK. You think it was worth it? I mean, I have no idea if it was worth it or not worth it, but... Still, the arena event is the best way to get purple mods and mods in general. Like, if you need mods, the arena event is the way to do it, because there is no way to get a guaranteed mod. So, I can't really say if it was worth it or not, but all I can say is that you shot your shot. And... Yeah, and that was the cheapest shot to shoot to get a mod. Regardless if it was a good or a bad mod. Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense. It should make sense. If there was a way to get guaranteed blueprints, then yes. Uh, doing that, that arena event would be gambling, but... 
There is no other way to get those mods. And I mean, after a while, like, what are we gonna do with these guns? We might as well just blast them at that arena event. But hey guys, if we're ever gonna start a new free-to-play account, I'm 100% doing that arena event on the free-to-play account. Like, for sure, I'm gonna save up 30 glocks, and I will do it. Maybe I'll even save up a few AKs. With AKs, it's much cheaper. We'll have to maybe use, like, 25, 23 guns once we have some AKs. Arena is super worth it. I got my spreadsheet from it. says Infinity Swift. Very nice. Congrats on your spreadsheet. Again, not everybody's gonna get a spreadsheet, but it's still the cheapest way to, to at least attempt to get blueprints because, yeah, nothing's guaranteed in this game except pain and suffering. But yeah, what happened to the minivan? Nothing happened to the minivan. We still have it. It's still in the game except there is nothing to do with it. It's just in the game. We are waiting for a new update, and then that minivan is going to be more important. And that new update was supposed to come out during the fall, but the fall is about to end in about, like, nine days. So I don't think we're getting that update this month. Maybe next month. Maybe by the end of this year. If I had to guess, maybe by the end of the year we'll get the update. Like, if I had to bet... I don't know if I would bet, seriously. It's probably easier to bet on other things than to bet when the update is gonna arrive because I honestly don't have a slightest clue. It can arrive anywhere. Like, I can say that it can arrive this month or next month or next year. Like, I don't know. It's really hard to say. So even if I had to guess when it's gonna arrive, I can only guess that probably it's not gonna arrive this month. I'm like 80% certain that it's not gonna arrive this month. And I'd say I'm about 40% certain that, it'll, that it will arrive in December. That's what I feel. But that's just my feeling. Alright, so we dealt with these guys and let's deal with this dude. Come here, Revenger. Revenger, Revenger, get the taste of my katana. It's like some sort of a spell. Revenger, Revenger, get the taste of my katana. What if we say Psych won't get the purple machete blueprint and he gets it? Should we do it? I mean, I have no idea. To be honest, I don't even want that purple machete blueprint. That's not what I want in this game. It's fine. I'm trying to play the reverse psychology here now. So yeah, guys, I absolutely don't need the new blueprint. And hey, for those waiting for Grounded, there will be more Grounded videos soon, tomorrow. I'm like 99% certain that there will be a new Grounded video tomorrow, unless there's like some sort of a huge Last Day on Earth update. Like, you know, if there is a helicopter update or something like that, then probably Grounded is not going to come out. But there is a 99% chance that there will be Grounded videos. So, Sag, there is a 1% chance for the helicopter? No, there is no helicopter. I don't think helicopter is coming out tomorrow. There we go. Let's get this. And uh, let's craft those two bandages from that guy. We just dealt with the Revenger. You know what's funny? That at the very beginning, there were a lot of people saying that Psych, it's Ravager, it's not Revenger. But after a while, year after year, those numbers have decreased. And now I don't think no one complains that it's a uh, Revenger. Like everybody knows that it's that, it, that it's a Revenger, not a Ravager. It's cool, guys. People can change. People definitely can change. All right, let's get the rotten yokels. Seven giants. And let's loot the house. Oh my goodness, how did I get punched in the face? Makes no sense. Rigged, guys. This game is rigged. I got punched in the face. Unbelievable. Finding a purple blue, purple machete blueprint is like taking a knife to a bunker bravo fight. Uh, what? This game doesn't have knives. Exactly, Sayak. That's what I'm talking about. Well, okay. Maybe that's the point. Is the arena event in the game now? No, the arena event is not in the game today. I don't know when it's coming out, though. We don't even know. We don't even have that in the... In the thing. There we go, guys. When we go to the calendar, the arena event is not even close. 
Like, we're not even gonna get it next week, which is... Sad? The arena event is cool, but at the same time, again, you need some time to replenish your weapons. You need to do Bunker Alpha a decent amount of times. To replenish all of your weapons, but you can probably get a decent amount of weapons quickly if you're gonna re if you're gonna clear bunker Bravo, a uh, bunker Alpha every two days, without wasting guns with Waltrick, which you should do Waltrick. I don't know for the first maybe two or three years of playing Last Day on Earth, I said that you probably shouldn't do Waltrick. Maybe for the first two years, because you don't really have to do Waltrick because some people can't do it. But I think you probably should learn how to do the Waltrick as you'll save up a lot of weapons. Like if you want to get guns in this game, Waltrick is gonna be your best friend. So learn how to do wall trick. You'll be able to get a decent amount of weapons every few days. Also, if you want to get even more red tickets and more things, try to kill the blind one perhaps with melee weapons. Because that is doable. Because wasting melee weapons on the blind one is... Uh, wasting guns on the blind one isn't that smart. In terms of guns, because it costs like two guns to deal with the blind one. Well, almost two guns. In any case, where is the blue box? I lost it, apparently. Okay, the blue box might be here, so I'm gonna deal with the... with the group of zombies. Real quick. Walchuk is like a part of the game. Yes, indeed! It is. They haven't fixed it. I think they've accepted it, and Walchuk is Walchuk. So, yeah, you should do it, because you will save lots of weapons. Again, if you want to be efficient in the game and if you want to get as many guns as possible, you don't have to do it, but it is possible. Plus, after you assemble your chopper, you can get guns from the rest up events. You can probably get some weapons from police departments, so you can get a decent amount of guns quickly. Cody Circles, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, Cody Circle. Hey, happy, psych to, happy to see your stream today. Welcome, welcome, Cody Circle. Glad to see you here. Thanks for enjoying the stream. Thanks for being here. After watching your free-to-play, I have like three lockers of guns. Very nice. Congrats on your guns. Congrats, congrats. Welcome to all those that have just joined. How's your... How's everyone's Monday going, says Pink Lady. It's going great. Hopefully your Monday's going great as well. Oh my god! And Pikachu, yeah. 27 ever. 26 oh ever. God. Maybe Pikachu forever. Thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And speaking of Pikachu, again, I don't know what's going on. I've just heard the news that Ash Ketchum became the, the 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 winner in the tournament for the first time or something. I don't know what that means. I didn't even know that they're still releasing new uh, new cartoons there. Why do I know? But that's all I've seen. That was trending on Twitter. So that's all I know. All right, let's start dealing with these guys. You forgot the poppy. I didn't forget it. I left it for later. Totally. Or I left it for you guys. So you can come and take it. It's fine. Alright, let's go around here. And let's try to gather the rest of the zombies. I'll probably deal with this Savage Giant as well. There we go. I mean, there aren't that many Savage Giants left. So I'll just deal with all of them. Hopefully that shotgun is going to be enough. And there we go. We got all of them. So now let's try to open up this blue box. But before we do this, what doggo is this? I don't see it. I don't see the collar. Okay, it's a blue collar. Let's take it. If doggo has a red collar, we're not taking it because we have already too many of those doggos at the base. It's anime, not cartoon. Hey. Pokemon is an anime. Isn't it the same thing? Is Pokemon cartoon or anime? Is Pokemon cartoon an or anime? Pokemon, also known as Pokemon series, blah, 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 is an anime television series, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. It's still a cartoon, all right? It's a cartoon. And I'll call it a cartoon. And we've gotten no purple blueprint, sadly. It's a twisted spring. Yikes. Thank you, we don't need that blueprint.
That's it. We got all the loot. Let's go. Let's bring that stuff back to the base and let's go for the first raid of the day. Let's go. Let's go. Use the fish ship, fish, fish soup to make less noise in the raids for exploding worlds or breaking chests. It does work, but for that you need carp, and I don't have any carp, and uh, yeah. Will there be new scum video? There will be more scum video soon, as soon as the new update drops. Scum survival 0 0.8 is supposed to be coming out. I have no idea when, but as soon as it drops, I'm definitely going to start new series. That's the that's the plan. The developers removed purple blueprint from the farm in Sarek's account. It is fine. Like if I had to be honest, like I'm really I don't really care about that blueprint that much. Like how often do I use guys machetes? How often do I use them? I probably used like three machetes in the past three months. Maybe if I get that blueprint, I'd use more machetes, but I doubt it. But still, one day we'll get that blueprint. <laughs> Hashtag copium. <laughs> Gooper. There we go. Let's send him back to that crate. That goes there. And what other tasks do we have to do? I think we just need to get uh, 20 first aid kits. And five of those. So there we go, guys. Let's craft 20 first aid kits and let's go for the first raid of the day. All right, let's get rid of this uh, broken katana. Let's drop the shotgun. All I use is machetes after I got the purple mod. All right, maybe we will use those machetes as well. I mean, obviously, after we unlock that purple mod, I'll use a bunch of machetes to see how that machete works. To see if it's cool or not. Let's drop those wires here. We already have, like, what? 80 of those iron wires. Why do I need that many? What are we gonna do with them? I can already hear voices in the distance. Helicopter, psych, for the helicopter. Okay. Let's say I'm saving that stuff for the helicopter. Maybe, maybe. All right, so let's get a few bandages now. I'm probably gonna get three stacks of bandages. Let's get two stacks of alcohol, and let's craft a stack of first aid kit. It's like some sort of a recipe here. Three stacks of bandages, two stacks of alcohol, and one auto clicker. And we can craft ourselves a stack of first aid kits. It's like a smash like, smash subscribe. If you breathe air. Audio says do a blind raid. It depends. If the base is going to have lots of chests, I'll do research. If it. Okay, I'm not gonna do research on this base right now, but if the base has... Lots of walls, I'm gonna do research, because it's stupid to raid bases without any research. Maybe not stupid stupid, but... I don't know. I'd rather do some research. Unless the base is huge. Alright, let's drop the first aid kits. Um, let's get the two blocks. Let's get enough hatchets and let's go, baby. The first raid of the day is the first raid, but not the last one. There will be many more raids today. Many, many more raids. It's like, do you know Naruto or no? Never seen Naruto. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of Naruto. I know who Naruto is. It's the guy that shoots webs, right? With the red metal suit that can fly. That's Naruto. Um, Alright, let's get the hatchets. Naruto catches Pokemon, maybe. Again, it's been a long time since I've checked the lore of... Naruto, so maybe he is catching Pokemon. Maybe you guys are absolutely correct. Maybe. What do I know? 
Let's go to the resources. Let's get the stones. Some wood. No, you're confusing him with Batman. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I said I'm not too educated on the cartoons, animes, and other stuff. I don't really know. I also know there's the... I think in Batman, maybe... Isn't Batman the guy that goes green when he gets angry or something? Isn't that Batman? Or maybe that's Shrek. Probably that's Shrek. Yeah, guys, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, take the Shrek at your base! Yes, indeed, guys, this is Shrek. Smash like, smash subscribe. If you like Shrek. If Shrek is love, Shrek is live. Smash like. Batman is the guy that goes super saiyan, says Brandon. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that, I'm sorry. Alright, so I'm not gonna do research on the base, but I will bo be boss you. The base's name is Bibosio. Elder E Raid Bibosio. So I'm just gonna pre type it and that's it. Oh no, I haven't taken a C4. Let's get a C4 and then we'll do research on. Uh, I'm not doing research for this raid. Unless it's a huge base. Maybe I will do research. I said that I won't do any research. It's actually a great base, ladies and gents. Oh my god, Cyric. You're lying. You're totally. I'm the guys. I've never lied to you in my entire life. Why do you like to say that? All right, we will require to use two C4s for this raid. Double C4. All right, so I kind of know which chest to open up, at least for now. Uh, all right, let's see how can I enter the base. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. I think I know how I will enter it. I'll go from there and then... There, there. Let's go. Let's go. I think I know. Sack, where's grounded videos? There will be more grounded videos. There will be more grounded videos for sure. Tomorrow, guys. As I said, tomorrow there is a new grounded video. A grounded video tomorrow. YouTube is not giving me notifications for your live streams. Uh, well, that's sad. But hey, welcome to the stream. Let's take a sip of water. Before we raid this pretty decent base. Like, I don't think we're going to get a better raid today than this base. Because from the research that I've done, it's a pretty decent raid. All right, it looks like we'll have to destroy a few spike traps. Or maybe I could just destroy one spike trap instead of two spike traps. I've done research on the base. Yes, yes. Does that mean I know how to enter it properly? Yes. There we go. I'll chop this thing down. Look at this. Look at me. We're going to plop the C4 here. Drink two liters of water for the memes. What? What kind of meme is that? You're sick. Get some help. Wait, let's open up this chest. What do we get here? Pack of cigs. Awesome. The dealer is going to be very happy about it. Mm, let's go here. Uh, we need probably one more C4 to go past this door. I want to place a C4 on this thing. Hopefully, I'm not going to mess it up. Hopefully. There we go. We can go through this. And we have a few more chests. But guys, check this chest out. Look at this. We're going to get some guns. If that's not great, I don't know what is great. So this raid is pretty fun. And that's just the beginning of this raid. This place has much more loot. 
Your chopper needs to be washed ASAP. Speaking of the chopper, we're gonna drop some loot in the chopper. Then we're gonna die on these spike traps, and then we'll come back here for even more loot. Okay, we just got two batteries. Kinda, kinda sad. There we go, we filled up the chopper with these eight guns. Let's die on the spike traps, and uh, let's come back to this base again. There we go, and then we'll open a bunch of other chests, because this is just half of the loot from this base. Maybe not even that, there's still so many more chests to open up. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream, hopefully you're having a great Monday. Your help get some six is insane. That's hilarious. That is funny. Cyric, troll big one on spikes, says Matthew Spellman. Yes, thank you for the idea. Alright, a few guns here. And let's hop back on our chopper and let's go back to that raid. I even forgot what kind of games are coming out in November and December. I don't think nothing is new coming out in November and December. I think all the games are... Oh no, in December we're gonna get the Long Dark... Uh, expansion thing. So that's cool. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get in December. I mean, probably there are some other key games coming out that nobody's playing, right? Like Smash Mario things and whatever. What I play is the Long Dark, and I'm gonna be playing the Long Dark in December. So that's what I'm waiting for. And what else are we gonna get? And then next year, we're getting Sounds of the Forest. We're gonna get Resident Evil 4 Remake, and perhaps some more, more survival games. I have no idea. Perhaps. There we go. Let's take the loot. Oops. Almost died on the spike traps here again. Let's go here to the top and let's open up a few of these chests. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. I told you that this is not it. I told you that this base has lots of awesome loot. Let's fill the chopper. Let's get more... More, more, more first aid kits. Can't wait for more of the Long Dark, says Matthew Spell me too. It's with a new DLC. It's not gonna be DLC, it's gonna be the expansion. With that new expansion, it looks like it's gonna bring lots of new things to the table, so I'm very excited for more of the Long Dark. I missed it. It was a really awesome survival game. Look at this! I can't even bring more loot! Like, our inventory is already almost full. That is insane. That is honestly insane. Alright, nothing here. Um, a bunch of bolts. Excuse me, I kind of don't want it. A bunch of wood, excuse me, kind of don't want it. Kind of don't want to take it. This raid is booming, yes indeed, this raid is booming, ladies and gentlemen. And we still have a few more chests to open up. This base so far is really, really awesome. Great raid so far. All right, let's open up one more chest. And then I might soften some of them. We got a few katanas, which is all right. But how about first aid kids, huh? Oh my goodness, why did you make noise? Idiot. What an idiot. I'll do perhaps three hits here to this chest. I'll get rid of this hatchet and I'll do two hits to this chest. So yeah, I'll try to soften them up. And open up as many chests as possible. 10 out of 10 raid. I mean, I still can't fill up these slots with first aid kits. But I would say that it's a 9 out of 10. Like, it's a 9 out of 10 raid for now. I don't know which chests I softened up. Which chests I haven't softened up. So, doesn't matter. I'll soften these chests up here. And... This thing here. There we go. 99 noise. Nothing. Can I open these chests up the very top? 
I have no idea. Well, we're gonna do 100 noise now. There we go. Nothing. Let's open up both of these black chests. Nothing, nothing. Kind of don't want to die from the big one here right now. Oh no, I thought that's it. I thought that this chest is softened up. But apparently it wasn't. More first aid kits! Dude, I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. This is gonna be a 10 out of 10 raid. I guess. I assume we just gotta run all the way to the top. So I killed the big one on spike traps. Guys, you cannot kill the big one on spike traps. How many times do I have to say that? You can't kill him on spike traps. So, to make more space, we have to delete some things. Alright, do I keep this one hatchet? Alright, let's keep this one hatchet for just in case. Now, let's get back to that base. But before we do this, I'm gonna also get a reanimator because I don't want to mess things up. Let's go to consumables. Let's get another reanimator. So, it's a nice raid. You don't always get these great raids. Like, it's a 10 out of 10 material raid. It's not... It's not a bad raid. It's seriously a great raid. Place the guns with the first aid kit. What? Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Well, it's fine. I'll keep going then. I'll keep going the wrong way. I'll shoot this guy. With a leg shot. And then I'll start sprinting. Around the corner. Here-ish. There we go. Let's shoot him in the leg now. Sprinting skill. Okay. Alright. 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 The chest is over here. Let's get those things. And you know what? I'm skedaddling. There were maybe some red tickets that I could have taken. Alright. A minigun with the... With the... Heal, 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 heal. There we go. That's it. This is a 10 out of 10 raid. We could have maybe gotten some... One more thing to steal, but... It's a... I mean, giving a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is a perfect raid. Maybe let's give it a 9 out of 10. A, like, 9.9 .9 out of 10. I don't know. It's a great raid. It's, like, the best raid basically can ask for. Like, we were able to... Oh, we still have one more hatchet here. 9.9 .9 out of 10, baby. It's seriously a great raid. Or it can be a 10 out of 10. We can even give it a 10 out of 10. It is a 10 out of 10. It can be a 10 out of 10. You know what? Let's give it a 10 out of 10 raid. Let's go. Because I still haven't even opened up all of the other chests. Maybe there were some more things there in that base that I haven't taken, but... Yeah, that's that's a nice raid. Plus, we could have maybe stolen another armor. It's a great raid. 9.9 .9 out of 10, almost a 10 raid. 10 out of 10. It's a great raid. It's seriously an awesome, awesome raid. The best raid I've ever raided, seriously. The most awesome raid, guys. No, but for real, it is a great raid. Why didn't you take wood? I apologize. Please forgive me for not taking wood. Definitely should have taken wood. For sure. There were more first aid kits. Yeah, I believe that there were more first aid kits. In any case, great raid. Couldn't have asked for a better raid. Like, it's seriously the best raid you can ask for. And it's first aid kits, and you know what? First aid kits are more important than guns, because one Glock is definitely cheaper than a stack of first aid kits, so... It's pretty cool. Your hoodie looks nice. Any similar merch incoming? I mean, it's still the good old... Where is it? There we go. It's still the good old I am donut thing. Maybe we can even zoom in here. There we go. It's still I am donut. I think it's here at psych.com. It's still available there. I don't think I have any new merch coming out anytime soon. But... Yeah. There is that. Let's drop the first aid kits. I'm a donut, guys. We're all donuts. That was a bloody lovely raid, ladies and gentlemen. What a bloody lovely raid. I don't have space to store my first aid kits. I had this place to store my loot, but apparently I don't have any space. And there comes the comment. Psych, upgrade your rack, Cyrek. Thank you, geniuses. Thank you. 
there we go. We sorted out our inventory. That's epic. That is cool. We might use this chest for first aid kits as well. I just... I'll just move guns here and that's it. There we go. That's an idea as well. Plus, we have a C4 here. I have no idea how on earth I dropped the C4 there. But hey, that's it. Now, let's try to pay the raiders. We've gotten lots of great loot, so what should we give for raiders? Some people are saying, like, electronic circuits. Some people are saying give them, give them steel. And I think I'm gonna give them wood. Hmm? Some good old wood. What do you think? Some good old wooden spears. Sticks. Yes, indeed. Let's give them sticks, ladies and gentlemen. So we need more sticks. Apparently that was a great raid and sometimes all you need is just one stick. But this was a good raid so they required more than just one stick. I remember once that happened and somebody said in the chat that, Oh my god, so I just upgrade your spears. No donut. It's because of the raid. Sometimes raids are good. And you'll need to give them more loot rather than just one uh, spear. So you need to give them more things. There we go. Let's share that. Now skedaddle. And hey, let's go for the second raid. We're not giving up. The first raid was great. Let's go for the second one. Let's see what kind of tasks we need to do. I'd love to go into hard mode bunker alpha to open up a floppy crate today. Maybe that's what we'll do. So if raiders ask me to clear like the third floor or the second floor, we might go and clear it in hard mode. We need to deal with five savage giants at the farm that I already popped. So boom, let's deal with them. We need to kill the blind one. So let's go to the third floor right now because I wanted to deal with the... I wanted to clear hard mode anyways, and we need to deal with the colonel. Easy peasy tasks. And let's go, ladies and gents. Let's pop the blind one in the hard mode. Let's get a floppy crate. Let's open up that floppy crate. Let's get more C4s. And let's get ready for another bunch of... And another raid. For a bunch of other raids. Yes. Mm. Let's get the shotguns. And let's skedaddle. What is your opinion, guys, on skedaddling? 1 to 10, rate it. Would you like to skedaddle? Or no? Yo, Tafik Ahmed, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, the thing should appear any moment. Definitely, definitely. And Frank TL, welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here, the thing should appear on the stream as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Let's upgrade this gun. We still don't have that button to upgrade everything at once. That would have been way better. So yeah, Taufik, thanks for the super chat. Sorry for coming late. It's all fine, mate. Thanks for being here. It's like, take the guns from your chopper. Wait, I haven't even taken guns from the chopper. Excuse me. Uh, Frank TL, thanks for the super chat. I have no idea why I it hate didn't. that you cannot craft oh, wow. ghillie armor, but only get it via the season pass. Because that stuff is supreme while being in the wild bogs location. Keep it up, C. Slightly smiling face. Keep it up, C. Uh, thanks, F. <laughs> Frank, thanks, F. Thanks for being here. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea why there was a delay before the, the thing started reading it. So, thanks for being here. And, yeah, I agree that it's kind of sad that we cannot craft the ghillie armor. Like, there are lots of things that we cannot craft in the game. And even if we could craft ghillie armor, let's be honest here, it would be too expensive. I mean, let's just... The SWAT armor is relatively accessible, but still, like, steel plates are kind of expensive. So, I assume ghillie armor would be maybe even more expensive. So, I don't even know if it would be worth crafting it. But, yeah, I agree with you. It would be awesome if we could craft it. So, thanks for being here. We need more space for the loot. So, yeah, Frank TL, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for everything. We have these pumpkins that I kind of want to delete. But, Cyric, don't do this. There we go. Let's drop the first eight because they don't fit. We need more space. We need more space in the base for more loot. And I know how we're going to do this. I'm going to move these guns. That's it. It's time. It's time. 
That's how Pokemon start. There we go. I'll also take like, these two miniguns. There we go. Now we have more space at the base, ladies and gentlemen. That is beautiful. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. Uh, you know how Dr. Disrespect has the Champions Club. What are we, Schmucks Club, says Matthew. I don't know what are you guys. We don't have a club. We do not have a club. We are all outside. He has a club. He has the arena. Uh, we don't have none of that. If this was a show, right? If let's say Dr. Disrespect, right, is performing in an arena. I am performing outside. I'm just like a street performer. You're just like there, guys, walking by and... There is me, like, doing whatever dances in the middle of the street. That would be me. That would be me, guys. That is us. <laughs> that is our community, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? I'm very proud of that. Alright, let's get back to that bunker alpha. Hopefully we have the right weapons. We have enough stuff for that third floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Says sweet JP. Yes, indeed. So guys, I need the password to that bunker alpha. What's the password? Consider deleting some items for comedic purposes. <laughs> All right, we're a bunker alpha club. Wow, that's actually a genius idea. I like Gooper Troopers. Um. Uh, one, three, one, five, two, one, three, one, five. I don't even know which one is a good one. One, three, one, five, two. One, three, one, five, two. There we go. It worked. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? It's so easy to know the passwords now. Because a lot of you keep lying in the chat. So I just... Remember those people that I know that will absolutely lie in the chat. And then I just compare with other numbers. And then I see that, hey, that person is lying, so the other person must not be lying. That's it. Easy. So guys, your tricks don't work. Thanks for the password. Thanks for being here. Doing backflips while eating water with chopsticks. Yikes. Hey, Psych, love your videos. Uh, gotta ask, which other survival games do you think... Survival mobile games do you think has some potential to compete against Last Day on Earth? I mean, I have no idea. To everybody their own, there are lots of cool, probably mobile survival games. Like, there's Last Day on Earth survival, obviously. There's Frostborn, if you want more multiplayer. There is uh, Dawn of Zombies survival, that has a bit better graphics. Then there are... Then there's Westland survival. There are a bunch of other mobile survival games. And to everyone their own. All right, let's activate the hard mode and let's go to the third floor. Fortnite survival is insane. Yes. Yes. But you trusted BJ Lol who bamboozled you more than twice. I didn't trust her now. Maybe before I trusted. Now I don't trust anybody. I don't even trust me. I don't trust anybody. We got a fanboy in the chat. Ulvi says, best one is last on Earth. Others are just poo and graphics are awfully. Graphics are awfully. Awfully what? You wanted to probably say graphics are awful. I mean, last on Earth definitely doesn't have the best graphics in the game. But hey, you do you. Get those thingies. Fork knife. Mom, I'm playing fork knife. Get out of my room. Yeah. 
Yeah, but for mobile survival games, it's pretty good. And if we compare it to others, if we compare Last Dinner to other survival games, it doesn't have superior graphics. Like, Last Dinner has just basic graphics. That's it. It doesn't have anything too crazy. And most of the people play on low graphics anyways. So, there we go. I said it. And I'm not saying that Last on Earth is bad or nothing. Psych is just a hater. Yeah, guys, I'm just a hater. I've been playing this game for five years. I'm just a hater. In any case, who cares? Last on Earth is the best game ever created. As we already decided that a few live streams ago that... Uh, the, the Big Bang was created because of Last on Earth. Just so that... Humans could learn how to walk and play the game here. The only reason why we exist is to play Last Day on Earth. That's it. That's the only reason why we exist. And if you don't agree with it, wake up, sheeple. Just wake up. Think about it. Why else would you be alive in this world? be happy to make the world a better place. I don't know. So these are all stupid reasons. You know, what's a good reason to be alive? To grind bunker alpha. To wall trick. Those are the nice reasons to be alive. So yeah. <laughs> Can we be the Big Bang gang? Isn't there like a TV show, Big Bang or something? I haven't watched it, so I don't know. So I don't think we should be the Big Bang Gang. <laughs> Stop it! Let's get the minigun. Some of your comments in the chat are very hilarious. That's all I have to say. Hey, Ladybug, welcome to the stream. Good evening, Psych. Didn't get the alert again that you're alive. YouTube is annoying like that. It do be like that. It does happen some... Times, but I don't think it's always because of the phone. I don't know. Yeah. Psych alarm. Where psych goes live, you have the entire room filled with the the sirens. The, the red lamps and everything. Sai goes live and the entire room goes into the apocalyptic mode. <laughs> Sarek is live. Sarek is live. Doesn't matter if it's like 3 a.m. at your place, 4 a.m. at your place. Sarek is live. You gotta wake up and watch it. And the only way to, to turn off that alarm is to go live there and say hello in the chat. That's what we need. Uh, I'm gonna get a shotgun. And, and there we go. Now we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's because he talks smack about Last on Earth. Oh, that's why people don't get notifications, maybe. Guys, I apologize. I never said anything wrong about Last on Earth. As I said, Last on Earth is the best game ever. The best game ever. How to download more guns to get rich. <laughs> oh. Download more guns, download more RAM. Guys, if your last on Earth is lagging on your phone or on your computer, just download more RAM, download a better processor, and the game will run better. There we go. Don't thank me. That's the tip of the day today. I never thought I would say this. You can even download a new phone. Like these days, everything's possible. There we go. It's like I had a dream the other day. I killed the blind one. Funny since I've never done it in real life. Uh, speaking of dreams about Last on Earth, I only had one dream about Last on Earth. Long time ago. Maybe three, four years ago. Luckily, I no longer have dreams about Last on Earth, but that's pretty much it. I just had a dream. I was walking in the game and I don't remember that much. I don't remember what else I did there. But it was just like a basic Last Day on Earth dream. Yeah, I just downloaded a new car. That's just stupid. You can't download a new car. Everybody knows this. It's just cringe.
One dream in five years. Okay, dude, sure. Guys, I just dreamt only one dream about last on Earth, I promise. Every single day, me sweating there like... <laughs> dreaming how I kill blind ones, big ones, and other things. How I'm trying to assemble the chopper. <laughs> Losing my account like... <sighs> Not remembering the password and other things. Guys, there is only one last on Earth dream that I had, and that's it. I promise. How do we know you're in dreaming right now? And we're all part of it. How would I know if it's a dream? Let's say it's a dream for real right now. I'm dreaming. And let's say, like, all my entire life here was just a dream, and now I'm gonna wake up at 14 years old, and I'm like, uh, what? That'd be such a... Such a roller coaster. Maybe it is a dream right now. Maybe I'm still dreaming. I know how to... I just made it up myself. So I'm not really certain. That should work. So if you're not sure if you're dreaming or not, you have to pee your pants. Because if you pee in the dream, you usually wake up. Right? So if you pee your pants and you don't wake up, that means it's not a dream. There we go. So if you ever doubt if it's a dream or not, just be your pants on, you'll know. That's it, I did it. I solved the, the, the most important problem. I did it. If you're dreaming, I'm also dreaming. No, no, no. Only I'm dreaming. Do a reality check. Stick your fingers through your palm. If they go through your dreaming, in the dream world, your palm isn't solid, says Sniper Moose. I don't know what kind of dreams you'd be dreaming, but you need to patch, you need to update your system. You need to get a new update. Because for me, let me tell you, everything is solid in the... in my dreams. My palms are solid, everything is solid. Being my pants now to confirm, says Matthew Spellman. Let's all pee our pants right now. There we go, guys. Let's pee our pants to know if we're dreaming or not. Is water solid in your dreams? I have no idea. Water like water. Oops, didn't mean to heal yet. I thought he'd punch me sooner. So yeah, to those that have just joined, currently we're clearing the hard mode third floor because I want to get a floppy crate. This way we'll get more C4s. And on top of that, what else are we going to get? Some pain, some suffering, and uh, we are getting ready for another raid. Yes, change armor. Don't touch my armor. Once it breaks, we're going to change it then. If we die, we die. That's fine. <laughs> 25, bro. You look like 40 with five kids. <laughs> that is actually pretty hilarious. That is funny. It's never in the middle. It's either Sayak, you look like 40 with five kids, or Sayak, you look 12. There are just those two type of people. You look 12 about to turn 10. I've heard that joke yesterday somewhere. It's like you look 12 about to te uh, turn 10. You look 40. Can't confirm I'm one of the kids. Guys! I'm pretty certain I know all of my kids. And so far I'm kidless. It's like it's not a real word. You know what? You understood what it means, right? So how do you- how can you tell me that it's not a real word? I am kidless. Sadly. 
I might be 25. And I might look like 40 with five kids, but I don't have five kids. Dad? <laughs> Matthew said, guys! I'm not sure, Papa. Papa! My Papa is live now, Papa! But you're always kidding, right? I might be kidless, but I'm always kidding. You guys are comedians. <laughs> My papa is back from buying milk. Um, maybe. Kidless is a real word according to Google. Alright. So maybe I'm not making things up. Maybe those words do exist. I remember you left to buy some milk. And now I see you on YouTube. This is insane. Yeah. About that. I'm still searching for milk. Let's get that minigun. Days Gone movie is in production. Where you've heard that? Days Gone would be a great movie. Like, seriously, Days Gone would be an amazing movie. That's all I have to say. Days Gone would be seriously a great, great movie. Right, my armor is about to break, so we need to definitely get a new one. Probably I'll... Pull it out of the inbox. Plus, my first aid kits are gonna disappear. So, I kinda have to have more first aid kits. Let's go to consumables. Let's get a stack of these first aid kits. I should have taken the inhalers. We had 109 inhalers. So, I should have used those. Subnautica movie is better than any other movie. Subnautica movie would be great as well. I totally agree. Isn't Avatar 2 is like Subnautica 2? Because. It's like, what are you even talking about? There's Avatar too. Also, guys, recently I've watched Avatar. I've seen it before. I've seen it like a really long time ago. But you know, when you're a kid, what do you understand? Blue man goes brr. That's all I remembered. But I watched it again. And it was a pretty nice movie. I actually enjoyed it. So I'm excited for Avatar too. Uh, I, can't, I went here for the equipment. Where is it? Well, I'll get the reinforced armor. Don't tell my homies that I'm wearing that, but yeah, we're gonna get the reinforced armor. It's like you don't have homies. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, but they're gonna kill every game-based movie. I totally agree. They're gonna kill the main characters of Dying of Days Gone. Like, they'll kill Boozer in the first second. <laughs> they'll kill Deacon. Oh my goodness, I'm dead here. You might be like, Cyric, you can't die! Watch. Look, watch and learn how we're gonna die here. I don't even know how we survived there. With the help of spam, we survived. With the help of first aid kit spam. It's like opinion on Roblox. Uh, not as good as Last Day on Earth, but almost there. Like, Roblox is... Is a pretty solid game. For real, for real. Almost as good as Last Day on Earth, but not quite there yet. <laughs> Last Day on Earth movie, though. <laughs> Clearing Bunker Alpha. Yesterday I watched a movie on Netflix. I don't remember how it's called. It's, it, it's with Adam Sandler's Sandler. I don't remember his name, but yeah, it's a movie about basketball or something. And there was the part where they did a montage of uh, the basketball player training. 
that montage of Kijanat was probably longer than 10, like 15 minutes. At some point, it just became ridiculous. You know when they do like that montage for like a few minutes to show the character progression? And that was like such a long montage. I've never seen a longer montage in my life. It became like literally comical at some point. That's it. There we go. I think after being a last on earth player, I'm going to become a movie critic. That's it. Hustle. Yes, the movie is called The Hustle. That's how it's called. Yes. Yes, it was a pretty nice movie. I liked it. It was a pretty good movie. All right, and we are almost done with the third floor hard mode. Almost done. I saw that where he's a coach or a headhunter. Yes. Yes, yes, that's the movie. What do you think of the Uncharted movie? Guys, you're proposing me these game movies as if I'm some sort of a director and I can cl uh, snap my fingers and make those movies a reality. Yes. I want that movie. Uh, Michael Bay or whatever the dude's name is. I'm waiting for the Uncharted movie. Let's see. <laughs> watch this documentary. So I watched the movie yesterday about Simba. There's on Netflix a nice documentary about Planet. I watched it. It's pretty cool. It was pretty interesting. Like the best zombie survival PC games, according to you. I mean, it'll be kind of hard to pull that out. But the best games, the best zombie games, again, it depends. Like, the best story game or the best game that you could play again and again and again. There would be lots of different answers. There are a bunch of different answers. Like Days Gone, The Last of Us, those are great games. But again, those are kind of games that you play once and that's it. Actually, I didn't mean to get berries as we already had here, carrots. Then there's the forest. I mean, it doesn't have zombies. It has those cannibals, but it's basically the same thing. Zombies, cannibals, and I think that's it. We are done with the third floor, so we can go for the second raid of the day. There's a new survival game to see the last few days. Frozen Flame. I think you have checked it already. Frozen Flame. Frozen Flame. Are you? Uh, I think I've seen it, but I don't... Or maybe I haven't seen it. Right, came out on 17th of November. Uh, it looks very, very, very science. I don't even know how to explain it. Very sci fi ish, kind of ish. Not really sci fi ish, but. I don't know. Mythical. <laughs> With mythical creatures, that's what it looks like. I don't know. Looks cool, but I don't think people will enjoy it. That's all I'm saying. There we go. We've gotten one of those floppy crates. Let's drop it here. And boom. Plus, it has mixed reviews on Steam. That's not usually a good sign. It's not a bad sign, but... So, yeah, now let's get back to our base and let's get ready for the second raid but it probably before we or maybe I'm gonna open up that floppy crate later after we do the raid because what if raiders want me to get a C4 I'll just open up the floppy crate then so yeah there are lots of cool survival games on PC
What about Green Hell? Green Hell is fine as well, but I don't think it has zombies. If we're talking about just survival games, I mean, there's Rust, right? There's the forest, which I already probably mentioned. There's Ark. There are lots of survival games. Frozen Flame is the material used to upgrade Leviathan Axe in God of War. All right. That's a 10 out of 10 answer. Now we can sit down. <laughs> That's a good answer. Thank you. Bro, play Getting Over It. It's an old game and I've played it. I think I might even have a live stream here on the channel. Or maybe I don't have it. Maybe. Alright, let's talk to these schmucks. And let's see what we kind of have to do. We have to deal with the colonel at the factory. And while I have these weapons, let's just go to the factory right now. Let's deal with that colonel. If the factory is reset. He got over it quite a while ago. Yes, indeed, guys. I played getting over it a while ago and I got over it. That's a good joke in saying. That's seriously a great joke. 10 out of 10 joke. That's one of the better jokes that I've heard. Epic joke. Seven days to die is nice, but sometimes with weird bugs. Yeah, seven days to die is great. Like, if you like, like, zombie survival games, then seven days to die is pretty decent. For sure. Wait, I went outside for something. I don't remember what, though. I don't remember what. Uh, I wanted to go there, there. Guys, can you remind me why I went there? Oh, to kill the colonel at the factory. That's why. But hey, let's also go to the to the rest stuff event. Can you tell that mom, though, that your joke is great? I don't think she will care. Let's be honest here. My mom never cares about my jokes. Have you played Unfair Mario? Unfair what? Unfair Mario? Unfair Mario, never heard of that. Days Gone series again. Um, what are we gonna do there? Again, I would play it, but I don't think people would be interested in the second one of Days Gone. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about Grounded? Grounded is cool. I think Grounded is one of the more underappreciated survival games. I think... Maybe the way the game is packaged is a bit... Is a bit, eh, questionable. Maybe more people would play it if... The game was a bit different, if maybe the progression in the game was a bit different. Because I think it's a fun game. But some things are either too hard or too easy. Like when you start the beginning of the game, the game teaches you how to do things. Like you get to that oak tree. And then the next thing you have to do, you have to get to the hedge lab to find another laboratory, which is like... 10 times harder than getting to the laboratory at the oak tree. Like, and it's pretty hard to find it. Like, God knows where in some sort of a tree, which is... Like, the hedge laboratory is harder to find than anything else there. It's not supposed to be that hard to find it. Like, the gas laboratory there, the... Other laboratories are easier to find than the hedge laboratory. So I think that's one of the reasons maybe not a lot of people are playing around it. But it got some sort of success. I think there's a decent amount of people playing Grounded. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cool game. Once you give it a try, once you learn more stuff about it, it's a good game. Sadly, I don't think there's a lot of replay value in it. Like, it's just a survival game. Hey, build the base and whatever. Beat the story mode. I wish there was some sort of a different story mode in the game. Maybe not a story mode, like a survival mode or something. With waves attacking your base. I don't know. Underwater laboratory. I'm not the biggest fan of the underwater laboratory. It's cool and fine, but like every time I think that I I've, re I've, re I've replayed the game almost twice I've played it once here on the channel and I played it once with my brother and replaying the story missions again Isn't as fun like they're fun to do for the first time But doing them for the second time just feels like a chore
But again, that's just me. It is fun to play the game. I, it is fun to grind, but doing the quests again is painful, especially the the underwater laboratory. Have you heard of the game called Bloodborne? Yes. I've beaten it with only fists. Pretty easy. On the hardest difficulty. Hi, where's the new update? I don't have a slightest clue where's the new update. You don't need to write the question marks and triple exclamation mark <laughs> to ask me where's the new update because I don't have a slightest clue where's the new update. All right, so we're gonna open up, guys, that floppy crate after the raid because what if raiders will want me to open up uh, some C4s? Oh, it's Sometimes that locked chest can have a grenade or a C4 or a gun, never saw that. I mean, I don't remember if I opened it or not, but yes, I have gotten a grenade from the chest as well. More grounded video, Sykes says Amari. Yes, there will be more grounded videos. Tomorrow there is a new grounded video. It's like, is there an option to clip the stream? Yes, I think YouTube added the, the feature to clip things on stream. I think just down there, there, there'll be the scissors thing. I'm not really certain how it works, but there is a way to clip stuff from streams now. I think a remaster is coming for PC and PS5. What kind of remaster? I don't see any scissors. Says insane. There has to be. There have to be scissors. Maybe you need to scroll. Uh, swipe. Because I have it. Even here in the chat, I'm going to have it. Clip. There will be the things called clip. Maybe. Yes. All right. So let's get ready for another raid. We need to get the armor and... Stack of first aid kits. Oh, Bloodborne is getting a remake. Wasn't it like released only a few years ago? Why is it getting a remake already? Maybe it'll get like a remaster. Maybe not a remake. Potato, potato, psych is the same thing. All right. Um... Um, I was thinking about something. Oh, the first aid kits and armor. Let's go for it. Let's get three stacks of those. Let's get some of this. Let's go for another raid, guys. The first raid was great. Hopefully the second raid is going to get even better. Let's go. I can't wait to sleep for that in grounded. What? To sleep? Yum, potatoes, says Lila Virus. Actually, speaking of potatoes, I saw a video yesterday, a few days ago, that you can make hash browns. How people make hash browns with their own, with potatoes. I wanted to do it, but basically they just freeze them in the freezer so they don't fall apart and then they deep fry them. I got... I didn't have the time to wait until they freeze, so I didn't make any hush browns. And let's be honest here, my hush browns would probably suck anyways. But I'm definitely gonna do them one day. Did we ever have a potato versus pasta debate? I know we did pasta versus rice. I think all of them are great. If I had to choose one food to eat for the rest of my life, those would be potatoes. But I eat more pasta than potatoes. But potatoes are just superior. I don't think you can compare both of them. Is pasta processed food? I think it is. Again, I don't even know what is processed. What does processed mean? But I think pasta is processed food. Potatoes are not. So potatoes are better. Like potatoes are just that. That's like that's a fact. Can you make pasta out of potatoes? Hmm. Maybe. Psych pasta is not good for health. Who said that? Who said that pasta is not good for health? So you're telling me if you don't eat pasta, you'll live forever. Mm. Is that what you're saying?
Processed meaning ground, extract and enriched. That's pasta. Exactly. You can make pasta out of rice and corn, so probably. I don't know. All I know is that potatoes are great. Pasta is great. Everything's great. Maybe a few more years than you. All right. Maybe. We never know. We're talking about that that person will live a few more years than me because I said that, hey, the... You won't live forever by eating pasta, and the dude said that he'll live longer than me, probably a few more years. That's great. That's good to know. I hope you'll live longer than me. <laughs> what kind of a conversation is this? Uh, Alright, let's complete this, guys, and let's go for the second raid. The second raid of the day. I'm absolutely ready. Let's get some Glocks. I mean, if pasta is not healthy, then I really don't know what is healthy for you. Everything is unhealthy in abnormal proportions. If you eat 2,000 calories of pasta a day, yes, that is not healthy. But whatever you eat for 2,000 calories a day, if you eat one type of food, it's going to be unhealthy. Oats are healthy. Yes, I assume oats are healthy, but if you're going to eat 2k calories of oats, I don't think it's going to be very healthy, maybe. I don't know. In any case, why do I know about healthy and unhealthy? What do I care? Uh, let's get the hatchets and let's go. I eat 15 eggs and oats every day. Very nice. Very cool. Eggs have a lot of cholesterol, so enjoy your cholesterol litus. Yes. That's the, that's the word, it exists. For sure. Alright, let's get a few hatchets. Eat quinoa and cranberries and live in the woods. Quinoa price skyrocketed. Like, it's just, it's insane. It's the price of meat almost. It's like eight or nine bucks per kilo. It's, it's insane. It is actually insane. It is cool. I haven't eaten lots of I haven't eaten lots of quinoa. I discovered it and then the price skyrocketed. So I'm not eating that. I'm not stupid. I'd rather eat twice the meat than quinoa then. Big brain. I don't eat egg yolks, so no cholesterol. So you're wasting food. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I see it. I see what you mean. I eat raw potatoes and look at me, so it's insane. <laughs> Very epic. Five years last on Earth isn't unhealthy. Hey, I didn't choose that. We Five years of last on Earth is five years of last on Earth. Quinoa fruit? Quinoa isn't a fruit. Quinoa is a... Uh, I don't know what is quinoa. LDE raid player six nine seven eight. Even rice price kinda went higher. So there's that. But in any case, it is what it is. I think guys I know how to raid this base, so get ready. Buckle up, buckaroos! Quinoa. What do you mean quinoa? It's quinoa, not quinoa. Oh my god. In French, it's called quinoa. So, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. How do you even spell it, quinoa? Quinoa pronunciation. What does Google say? Quinoa. It's quinoa. 
Excuse me, quinoa. Well, in French, they say quinoa. Alright. But it's apparently quinoa, a grain. Okay, it's quinoa. But I, I am a sophisticated French human being. So... I think... I know better than you. Alright? It's quinoa. Bonjour. It's quinoa. Pardon moi, says Lila. You're forgiven. You are indeed for Speaking of French things, Duolingo just released a new update. I mean, it's been out for a long time. They've changed how things look in Duolingo. And let me tell you, I don't like it. I wanted to uninstall the app, but it's still the best thing there is, so... I'll keep using it. Maybe it's kind of nice. I'm getting the habit of it. Maybe it's better, but I still don't like the update. Just because... It's like, why are you talking about health now? You are no fun. What do you mean I'm talking about health? I don't care about health. Yeah, I'm too cool. I'm very woke. I don't care about health at all. Yeah, health is invented by people to use us. Yeah. Unhealthy habits are not real. There's only one more chest to open up and that's it, guys. That's the raid. That is the raid. Alright, we got a comment. I haven't responded to that comment in a long time. I kind of don't want to respond it because it... It doesn't really trigger me, but it's just... I consider it a zero IQ comment. But I'll still read it. Cyric, why do you take five iron hatchets? Can't you research what base you're going to raid and take only necessary amounts of iron hatchets to save up space? No. First of all... Five iron hatchets isn't that expensive. If the base is going to have some valuable loot, I'll ditch those iron hatchets. It's just faster to take five iron hatchets and five basic, basic hatchets than whip out a, a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, to do an entire presentation to know how many hatchets I need to get there. I'll just take ten hatchets and that's done. It saves lots of time. Does that make sense? Oh my god, sorry, I could never thought about it. Well, now you thought about it. There we go. There we go. Do you have any other question, guys? Please ask me. I'm not gonna scold you. Just ask me. I found this channel in one of the best Last on Earth channels, but I don't understand anything. Why? It's like, we'll bring 100 hatchets and then leave awesome loot to keep them. <sighs> Guys, just stop it. Just stop it. Plus, when I do research, I don't really go there. It's not like I open up a notebook and I write everything down. All right, we need 1c4 for this stone wall. We need three hatchets for the walls and five and a half hatchets for these chests. I just see how to enter this base and that's it because nobody got time to go and look at these hatchets just because I'll save one hatchet or something It's not worth my time and it's not worth anybody's time <laughs> Dude leaves more loot behind than he steals it do be like that. I Once gave away a chopper on the raid guys. I can give away a chopper right now on another during another raid Like I kid you not. Oh my god, so like really yes I'll give away another chopper. I'll give them all the loot that you need for the choppers, like the gas tanks and whatever, during this other raid. That's it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm giving away another chopper. But Sayak, you're raiding bot bases. Yes, we are raiding bot bases and nothing is real. Yes, I know this. I reject your giveaway. You're not winning the giveaway anyways. A bot will win the giveaway, guys. Are you bots? Didn't think so. You are a real human being. A real breathing human being. <laughs> YouTube bot left the chat. <laughs> uh, these bots, am I right? <laughs> Excuse me, if bots ever become uh, conscious, I love bots. As I said, the worst experience that I ever had with bots 
is when I was in the car and I was talking to a Google Assistant or something, just for the memes, I was asking for the address, and then it just it said like, Google F you. And then the Google responded to me like, oh, I like, it's not nice to say these things, blah, 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 or something like the, the bot said, I still have feelings. And I got kind of embarrassed. I got roasted by a bot. Since that moment, I never used Google Assistant. Because it's kind of cringe. But still, if bots ever become conscious, I love Google Assistant the best thing ever. For sure. Make three deals with the dealer. We need to deal with 15 toxic abominations. We need to open up three green cards and disassemble three guns. Easy. We can get. We can go for the third raid of the day now. Oh, before we go for that third raid of the day, let's open up the the the, the floppy crate. Let's go. So I can make a workout video. You're not advanced enough to follow my workout. So I don't think it would be worth it for you to look at that workout. You know, there are the people that don't work out. There are people that work out a little bit. Then there are amateurs that work out a decent amount. Then there are sportsmen and then there are athletes. And I'm above all of them. As you can see from my gamer muscles. So... My workout won't be suitable for you. So I'm sorry I won't be able to show it. Alright, let's open up that box. Okay, it's not an infected box. That's a plus. There we go. Let's get it. As long as it's not an infected box, I'm happy. I am happy. We got two C4s. Sadly, no grenade launchers, but doesn't matter. We came here for C4s. So that is something. I'll bring these iron plates back to the base. So I can Giga Chat has this have the same workout. Where do you think Giga Chat got, got his workout from? Who gave him that workout? <laughs> Psy wreck. What do you mean Psy wreck? There is no P in the Psy wreck. Sack eats dumbbells for breakfast, isn't it? That's a good one. That is very, very good one. That is a good joke. A dumbbell. Sack, if he was a psychiatrist, so I would be Psyric? All right. Psyrek. Hey guys, it is me, Psyrek, and today we are doing another raid. I've never done that before. So this will be the first raid of the day. All right, let's drop copper, let's drop uh, iron plates. Let's drop the thing is psych rocks the Sigma grind. I invented that Sigma grind Whatever that's supposed to mean All right, let's call the Raiders on the radio and let's uh, Whatever the thing is called The dealer right let's talk to the dealer the thing 
What do we need to give him? Seven bandages and one first aid kit. That's a robbery. That is literally a robbery. Seven bandages and one first aid kit. Unbelievable. Seven bandages and one first aid kit. I'll give it from... You know what? I'll get it from here. There we go. Let's go. Scammer volume 2. Welcome, Lost Marangas. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. To all of those to all of those that have just joined the stream. Welcome everybody. Hopefully you're having a great Monday. Dealer Joe robbing on broad daylight, yes. During the broad daylight, Syrek is gonna get scamassed and robbed. Let's go witness this robbery right now. Sack doesn't do Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha does Cyric. That, that that doesn't sound good. All right, let's drop stuff here. Bam, bam, and let's get that box. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, guess what we're gonna get inside of this box? So the winners will get absolutely nothing, and the losers will stay losers. So guess what we're gonna get inside of that box? Guess it, guess it, guess it. Just do it. Just do it. I'll even guess uh, guess myself. I want to participate in this game as well. It's been a while since I since we've done this game here. I think it's been three minutes. All right, so I'm going to say that it's a pipe. I always keep saying that it's a pipe, and one day it'll be pipe, and I w I'll win. It's a saw blade mace! Yikes. Nope. Oh, there are a few people that said that. Banana forever. Then we got... Oh, that's just banana forever saying the same thing three times. Okay, so banana forever. You're the only winner of nothing here today. Congratulations. Congratulations, mate. Very awesome. Very epic. Congrats. And I see more people now saying saw blade. Guys, stop it. Stop it. I see what you're trying to do there. I know that... Your maybe inter internet connection is might be a little bit slow or something, but it's fine. God damn it, I never win. Life is rigged. Imagine having such a rigged life that when you have an opportunity to win nothing, you still lose. That is sad indeed. But as they say, get good at life. Just get good, noob. And that applies to me as well because I didn't win as well. I said that it's a pipe, and it's not a pipe. Saturday, you said something about new free-to-play series. Are you planning to record the series soon? <sighs> well, let me take a deep breath. <sighs> so, you just heard me say something about free-to-play series, and that's it. You didn't listen to what else I had to say there. I literally answered the entire question about those free-to-play series. I said that if there's a new good update, I will maybe record new free-to-play series. That's it. That's what I said. And my answer still stays the, stays the same. And tomorrow it will be again, Psych, you spoke about free-to-play. Yes, I just because I said free-to-play series doesn't mean anything. We are waiting for the new update. I am waiting for the new update. We are all waiting for the new update. Let me give you guys a quick English lesson. I walk. You walk. He walks. They walk. There we go. My flex, my subscribe. I am walking. You are walking. He, she, it is walking. I have a brother, mother, sister, father. London is the capital of Britain. Almost said England is the capital of London. But I ain't that stupid. Might be stupid, but I ain't an idiot. I have walked it. Yes, indeed. I have walked it. Why don't you upload grounded videos? Because it's gonna come out tomorrow. 
Sai has a PhD in English. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What are we going to do now? We're going to open up three green cards. I don't think I said this, but yeah, we need to open up three green cards and then we can go for the third raid of the day. I guess. We still have some space here. There we go, guys. We've opened up two purple just now. And now let's open up three green. If I am another pipe, I'll leave it here. Another pipe. I'll leave it here. I'm not bringing that stuff back to the base. And we got a machete. There we go. Let's get that all. It's like, what is your first language? Dothraki. It's like, maybe I'm stupid for asking that, but I still love your content. I don't know what you asked, but you're not stupid. Stop it! You're not stupid! You're smart! Don't say that! There's a meme like this, and I don't remember, guys. I've spent literally half an hour searching for that meme. Somebody said something. It's like from a cartoon, or I don't remember. Somebody said that I am stupid and the, the person started yelling at the other guy. You're not stupid. You're beautiful. Don't say that. You're the best. And that was a great meme and I can't find it. I don't know where that meme is from. I tried searching for that meme and I can't find it. <sighs> I am better. I am stronger. I am smarter. No, that, that's not the meme. That's not the meme that I'm talking about. It's like... There are like two people, I guess, and one guy says that he is stupid or something, and the other guy almost starts crying and saying that, no, you're beautiful, you're not stupid. The guy overreacted, basically, so that was like a nice meme. <laughs> but I still am better and stronger, so it's insane. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Let's go, Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa insane. PhD and last day on Earth, yes, indeed. Um, let's drop the katanas. <laughs> 30 minutes ago was your kid. <laughs> you said that I didn't say that you were my kid. You said that you were my kid. You're my grandpa. Let's drop the... The, 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 the things here. And the steel plates. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to go. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. We need to craft another armor. And do we need to craft first aid kits or something? I didn't see. I went there to check what items we need to craft, but I didn't pay enough attention. Yikes. We just got a would you rather question. I haven't read it fully yet and I'll regret reading it, but I'll still read it. Would you rather have only shotguns with all the mods already made or VSSs with all the mods? I regret reading it. Like, I just got a headache. My head hurts. It's just that... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Probably... VSSs would be better, but shotguns would have spread shots. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't want to answer it. I refuse to answer that question. I refuse to participate in that little game. <laughs> What's worse? Would you rather? Would you rather questions about last on Earth? Yes, exactly. Would you rather questions? Maybe are not that bad, but if it, if it comes to last on Earth, they're just plain stupid. Would you rather have 10 zip guns or 10 Winchesters, Cyric? It's like, okay. I just moved something around. There we go. That's why I moved here. Why well, don't like best armor? And again, that's another stupid question. Why I don't like best armor? Who said that I don't like best armor? I'm saving it for a special day when helicopter comes out. I'm saving it for Bunker Charlie. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking, right? I'm kidding. Bunker Charlie's not coming out, but I'll, I'm saving it for Bunker Charlie. Exactly. 
And we need to recycle three guns. There we go. Let's recycle them and let's go for the raid number three of the day. Let's get ready, Bakaroos. What is a Bakaroo, you might ask me? Doesn't matter. Isn't Bakaroo like a bull rider or something? Maybe. A Bakaroo. In any case, buckle up, Bakaroos. Clip screenshotted, caught in 4K, videotaped, uploaded to YouTube. You ain't escaping, kiddo. <laughs> what do you mean? I ain't escaping. Photoshopped. Everything is photoshopped and nothing is real. Why am I the only one suffering from these stupid questions? Guys, the question goes to you. What would you choose? 10 zip guns or 10 Winchesters? That's it. That is your question. Answer it to me right now. Go on. 10 zip guns or 10 Winchesters? And then I'm gonna ask you. What would you choose? Uh, 10 shotguns or 10 VSSs? Would you rather eat, guys? <laughs> the most stupid question. Would you guys rather eat canned beans or carrots for the rest of your life and last on Earth? Which ones would you eat? Ten miniguns, somebody said. Miniguns were not in the option. Miniguns are not the option. So, guys, would you, would, you, would you prefer a stack of beans or a stack of carrots in the game? I'm even going to make a poll here right now. That's it. That's how serious I am about it. Uh... Would you prefer prefer a uh, hundred beans, hundred canned beans, or hundred carrots in LDOE? Bean, beans, carrots. That said, you don't have an option to. You don't have an option to refuse and not participate there. There we go. There is a poll. Participate in the poll, guys. It's very important. Why don't you upload more grounded videos? Because it's gonna come out tomorrow. I already answered your question, but there we go. This is my third time probably answering it to you. So I'm here. I will upload grounded tomorrow. There we go. Hopefully that answers your question. And we are ready to go for the third raid. Let's go. I would prefer carrots because you can turn them into soups with heels. You can't cook them. I didn't say cooked carrots. I just said cut carrots. You can't cook carrots. You either just eat carrots, you can't cook them, or you eat beans. That's it. A lot of you, obviously you can cook carrots. You cannot cook carrots. You just eat carrots and that's it. You can't cook them. Pretty simple. <laughs> Somebody said, I just deleted the poll. I don't see my answer. And my answer is good. Why you look sad? Says Magister. Because that's how I look. Nothing to be happy about. <laughs> smash like, smash subscribe. That is a good joke. Why do you look sad? Why do you look happy? What's there to happy to be about? What's there to be happy about? I don't have a mod. The, the, the raid was goop. I don't have the machete mod. Who else thinks there should be fried chicken in the game? Me, I already like this thing. Uh, like turkeys, we have to run around to catch, except they should be harder to catch. Yes. Fried chicken, for sure. You look like Cyric. Never heard that. Oh my goodness, another another question. Again, I usually avoid these kind of questions, but today that's probably the day of Cyric answering last on Earth questions. What are your thoughts on the skins with passive bonus effects? The last one being small amounts of damage dealt to attackers when your armor is below a certain durability. Uh, good. 
my thoughts about it is good. Good thoughts. I mean, if you can get that skin... If you can obtain it without buying it, it's kind of cool. But most of the time, those skins are useless anyways. Like, the uh, the last skin that we had, the one where zombies attack you and you damage them or something. I don't remember. Those were kind of useless skins. Useless skin perks. So far, we haven't had any good skill perks. But if we would have some sort of a good skill perk with a skin, it would be cool. Maybe. I don't know. It, it all depends. It all depends on the on the situation and on how hard it is to obtain that skin and on what kind of buffs we get from that skin. That's why I think it's a silly-ish question to answer because it all depends on that skin. It's like the same thing, Psyker. Are you excited about the helicopter update? Again, it all depends what the helicopter is going to bring. If it's just going to be like this minivan here on the map that is just there and it does nothing, then no, I'm not excited about it. But if, it's, if it brings something new, then I'm excited about it, so... It just all depends what it's gonna bring to the table. But sorry, I don't have a table. It is on the ground. Well, I don't know what it's gonna bring to the ground. LDOE raid player 8490. Let's go. Research time, Sarek. Yes, indeed. I am doing a little bit of research. It's like, do you have a Discord server? Yes, indeed. Discord server has me. It's discord.gg slash happy cycle. Link is down in the description. We have the best mods on the Discord server. Yeah. They almost don't ban for no reason. So, yeah. Epic mods. Would you rather have a cat or a dog? I got two cats. But dogs are cool as well. What kind of questions I'm even answering? What is this? Are you a dog or a cat person? It's like those are the most basic questions that you can imagine. And again, I didn't get any C4s. I left all of them at the base. It's all because of those questions. It's all because of those questions. I'm certain about it. There we go. Let's plop a C4 here. No, it's in the chopper. Wait, I left it in the chopper. I have two chocolate labs and one, say, a Mies Kitty. Uh, probably just butchered the last thing. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I know what you mean. Uh, chocolate labs. Wait, what? That's a cat breed? Never heard of that. But, yeah. Meat! Ladies and gentlemen, 10 out of 10 raid. 10 out of 10 raid. There we go, let's fill this stuff up. And yes, indeed, I had C4 in the chopper. Speaking of chocolate, guys, yesterday I found I bought some chocolate. There we go. I know you might be like, oh my god, psych, it's unbelievable. There's no way you could have bought chocolate. I did buy chocolate. I did buy some chocolate. Would you rather have a house or a car? That's like, that, that's like so stupid. Would you rather have a thousand dollars or a million dollars? Like, of course a thousand dollars. What are you even talking about? Like, there are those uh, memes, they show like some sort of a burger, like, would you eat this for a million dollars? It's like, dude, what? There's the same level of stupidity. Technically, potato pasta is called nachi. I think I know nachi, what is... I think I know what is that. Maybe I don't know. Probably I don't know. I bought chocolate for a certain someone special. I bought it for myself. I like chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate?
What would you do for a Klondike bar? I don't have a slightest clue what is a Klondike bar, but I want it. Like, I've never heard of it. I have no idea how it tastes like. I don't even know if it's edible, but I want to eat it right now. So, Klondike bar gets my approval. It's probably not pronounced Klondike, it's probably whatever. Don't Google it. All right, I'm not Googling it. Hopefully, I'm not getting bamboozled, or maybe I am. It's an ice cream bar. Okay, maybe somebody has already... ...told me about it a few live streams ago, maybe. There we go, I softened up all of these shells. Does that mean I'll be able to open them up? Kinda doubt it. Kinda really, really doubt it. Let's open this up. We got charcoal, ladies and gentlemen. A lump of coal! Were you nice uh, during this year? Yes, Santa! There we go, a lump of coal, baby. Take it, thank you, Santa. Really cool. Thanks to Santa. I'll get these to craft. Uh, garbage. Alright, let's open this up. I'll heal up. More bricks. Iron bars, kind of epic, but I kind of don't want them. I'd rather get those lumps of coal. Stop it! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I've opened up all of these chests, so smash like, smash subscribe for more epic chest openings. But yeah, this base gets X approval. It's a decent, it's a decent raid. It's definitely a decent raid. It is a decent raid. Would you rather have a new update or a thousand bucks? We're gonna probably get that new update regardless, so I'd rather have thousand bucks. Who would choose a new update instead of thousand bucks? I don't think there is a single person in the chat who would say otherwise. So let's craft a few bandages. So it's not a bad raid because we've gotten those pieces of cloth so we can craft a decent amount of bandages, which is all right. Would you rather have Bunker Charlie or Settlement Update? It depends what those things are going to bring. I don't know what they're going to bring. Maybe Bunker Charlie is going to suck or maybe the Settlement Update is going to suck. I don't know which one is going to suck less. I'd like to have the update that sucks less. Ice cream for the rest of your life or chocolate for the rest of your life? Guys, I'll drop kick you with those would you rather questions. Uh, chocolate or ice cream for the rest of my life? That's actually... What, what I hate about these questions is because I take them too seriously. It's not like I can just answer a random thing. I legit start thinking, hmm. If I had, if I had a choice, what would I take? But again, there are so many questions. Like, what kind of ice cream? What kind of cho chocolate? Whatever chocolate, whatever ice cream. Does that mean I'll never be able to buy ice cream or does that mean I get a lifetime supply of chocolate or ice cream? Or does that mean I won't be able to buy a certain thing? You know, there are like many options and... I don't need that much chocolate and I don't need that much ice cream. But when you can... When you're not allowed to get something, you want that thing more. When there was a lockdown, I wanted to travel. Lockdown's over, I don't want to go anywhere. People are like that. When you're, when you're not allowed to do something, you want it more so. If you're gonna tell me that I can only eat chocolate for the rest of my life and I cannot eat ice cream, well, let me tell you what, I'll want to eat that ice cream. Spinach or kale for the rest of your life? Well, I don't eat spinach or kale. But if I can't eat them, I'll kind of want it. Like, let's say it's illegal for me to eat spinach. I'd be like, hmm, I kind of want to dip my fingers in it. Give up music or TV for life. What is this? What has this chat become, guys? Music or TV? 
I don't have to choose either of those. Well, I don't really watch TV, but watching YouTube doesn't count as TV. People are stupid, including me, says Kylim. Um, okay. <laughs> Hello, monkeys, says Uchiha. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, primates. Let's drop this here. Let's drop the electronic circuit. The red ticket. Or maybe we have two of those red tickets. Yeah, we got both of those red tickets. Psych on the corner meeting the spinach dealer. Guys, like nobody confirmed that theory. Like that's true. If you're not allowed to do something, you want to do that thing more. And you know it. You agree with me, right? Like I haven't seen a single person. Oh my god, Psych, that's so true. Nobody said that in the chat. I want that confirmation. Guys, is that true or is that false? And is there a word for it? Does that phenomena has a word? Have a word. Yes, English. You are you are not allowed to delete last and earth. Go and delete it right now. I kind of want to delete it now. I kind of want to. I mean, you're not allowed to delete last on earth anyways because you will lose your account. So there's that. Except now they have Kefir ID, so maybe you're not going to lose it. But yeah, sure. You won't lose your last on earth account. Would you rather rather or would? I'd probably choose rather. Or maybe I'd choose would. I don't know. Spinach is always greener on the other side. Yes, indeed. Neighbors are always growing a greener, greener spinach. <laughs> I kid you not, guy. Again, I don't think that my neighbor is watching my, my, my live streams. But... There's legit neighbor, and every time I watch TV, I can hear him drop glass bottles on the ground. Not like not like they crack, but just him dropping the glass bottle, and you can hear like, tum, 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 tum. and it's just it's kind of hilarious. Every evening, I'll hear him drop the a at least one bottle, at least one glass bottle. I don't know what he does with it. Maybe he's drinking, and then he falls asleep, and then that bottle slides from his hand. Maybe he just drops some sort of a glass bottle there, but. Every evening, the neighbor will the neighbor will drop that glass bottle on the ground, and then it will do ding 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 ding. Psych, I'm your neighbor, says Slasher. Okay, sure. Delete Last on Earth or ten grand. I take ten grand and then I'll re reinstall Last on Earth again. There we go. Wait, delete last on earth or 10 grand? I can get 10 grand, but doesn't mean I have any consequences. I don't even have to delete last on earth. Heavy drinker, neighbor. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But every evening, I kid you not, you might be like, Sayak, you're lying. Like, every evening. Well, maybe almost every evening. But like, I, I'll hear it. I'll probably hear it today. And it's even like a meme. I'll be watching TV and I'll be listening. And then I'm like, tunk, 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 tunk. again, he dropped that bottle. Let's go. Let's pay that. Uh, let's grab these. Let's pay them with those spears. And let's call them again on the radio. Fake stories. Anyways, guys, I never share fake stories. So once I'm walking down the street and I see Elon Musk. And I'm like, dude, you should totally buy Twitter. And he's like, hey, hey. And look at that now. You might not believe it. You might think that, Syrek, you're lying. Would I lie such things? Doubt it. Not a single lie has ever came out of my mouth. My mom raised me well. I've never lied. Elon Musk is probably watching the live stream right now. He can confirm that. Elon Musk. <laughs> the meme! Like, my favorite meme! The current... I, I don't think it's a trending meme, but... His name is Elon Musk. And, like, I don't know what else the meme says, but... And then they add people doing some either smart or dumb things. This is a hilarious meme. You must have seen those memes as well. Like, whatever. Like, he's Elon Musk. And uh, the guy does something stupid there. <laughs> it's, it's a hilarious meme. It's, like, one of my favorite memes there. The favorite meme formats. A <laughs> neighbor in the streams be like, I have this weird neighbor who screams, La, 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 when he showers. <laughs> That's a good one. 
Elon Musk is a beast, bought Twitter to destroy it. Uh, maybe. I trust you, lie, right, guys? I never lie. Stop it. <laughs> oh, this is Elon Musk, Tesla's co-founder co and CEO. Yes, yes, that's the that's the meme format. That's what I'm talking about. And there's so many great memes like that. Either the dude will try to do something smart, but it's kind of stupid, or they would literally do something stupid. <laughs> this is this is Elon Musk, Tesla's co-founder and CEO. Those memes are so good. Those memes are so great, my favorite memes. So guys, I think we will be wrapping it up, but before we wrap up, we have a Rubik's Cube to do. And once again, this is Elon Musk, Tesla's co-founder and CEO. Let's go. Uh, let's go to speed cube timer. I hate Bond Kral for this gamer. Okay, cool. Nobody cares. Let's go. Let's go, guys. So at the end of the live stream, uh, I we do some speed cubing. <laughs> it's like speed cubing after one hour. Elon Musk. Tesla's co-founder and CEO. That's a great meme, guys. That is a great meme. Like, seriously, memes bring people together. I don't really even know what people did before memes. Like, there were memes even before memes. Like, people had different types of memes except but memes became now way more popular memes are awesome i miss geo guesser so much set piano music i miss geo guesser as well except it's been such a long time since i've played geo guesser that i won't be able to find anything now i'm thinking about geo guesser can i even enter geo guesser can i log into geo guesser like we could Cyric, forget the rubik's cubing I'll try to log into the GeoGuessr. Again, I haven't logged into it for a long time. I don't remember the passwords. I don't remember the emails there. I don't even know if I still have the full thing. Because I had the premium in GeoGuessr. All right, I still can't log in. I don't remember my password. I can't log into GeoGuessr. OMG GeoGuessr. I actually want to play one round of GeoGuessr. Like, for real, for real. Uh, GeoGuessr. I don't know where I got it. Okay, it's not on this. Oh, oh GeoGuessr, GeoGuessr. Is it here? goodness on which account did I have premium geo guesser all right geo guesser I paid 24 bucks for the geo guesser what I bought it on April 2021 but it was for a year now valid for one year so obviously um it has expired probably What's going on? What? Where? This is so stupid. I don't remember my... my thing. I did it! I guessed it! I typed in all of my emails and it worked! This is Elon Musk, co-founder of Tesla and CEO. I am actually a genius. I have no idea how that's gonna work. I don't know what's up, ladies and gentlemen, but I am Elon Musk. 
uh, I paid for Joe Gesser too. I totally forgot about it. Paid another 24 for another year. Sad piano music. Well, all my emails. What? What are you talking about? I am Elon Musk. Uh, let's go here. Will that even work? Uh, you're about to start five minutes of free to play. When time started, it will refill again fifth again in 15 minutes ongoing. A classic games. Okay, whatever. So I can we have one free free try. I can do it only Oh yeah, single player. Let's go start the game. Whatever, guys. Let's do it. I haven't played GeoGuessr for a really long time. So it looks like Europe. All right. Again, I forgot all the northern hemispheres and southern hemispheres, so I don't remember anything about it. All I see is a truck. Is that a truck? Sounds like America. I'm like 90% certain it's somewhere in, in America. Look at this. This is the American school bus. Somewhere in Detroit. Yeah, this is... That's America. For sure. Where could it be? I don't have a slightest clue. It can literally be anywhere. But it's American bus. Sunny day in California. Um, I don't know if it's really California. I don't have a slightest clue. Oh, my time is ticking down. You can only play for five minutes here for free? That's stupid. Well, let's go quickly then. I'll choose uh, Utah. Somewhere here in Richfield. There we go. And that was actually in Canada. It was around this place. Where is it? Here. Well, I was almost right around Detroit. Well, whatever. That was Canada. Let's go another one because I have only three minutes before it runs out. The soil is kind of reddish. Brazil, perhaps. Where is the sun? The sun is that way. So it's southwest... I wish it was a compass instead of southwest. I need to imagine where is southwest now. Looks there, so that means we're up. I don't know. Well, we have th three more minutes. I don't have a slightest clue where we are. Panama. I don't know. Maybe Philippines. They say Turkey. No, I doubt, doubt that it's Turkey. Wait, if the sun is in the north, that means we're in the south. That's how it works. If the sun is in the north, that means we're in the south. But the sun here is kind of uh, southwest, so it's we mean that means we're in the north. So we got to be around here is then. Well, I'll go to Thailand, but probably it's not. Whoa, it was Cambodia, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of a genius. I'm somewhat of an Elon Musk. Where are we here? Um, Canada, US. We have two more minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta do it. Canada or US, it'll be hard to know. Dead end. Um, I actually like Joe Gesser. I miss Joe Gesser for real. I'm gonna probably choose Canada again. I don't know which side and where, but let's go for Canada. I mean, around this place somewhere. Boom. Boom. And it was wow in the middle of nowhere. In Alma. It was in Denver. Epic. Yikes. That's a huge mountain. Perhaps French, France, Italy. That's Spain, maybe even. French, Italy, Spain, Southern Europe. I uh, would like to find a sign. Dude, don't make me buy an upgrade to Pro in GeoGuessr. Southern part of thing. What is this? Uh, Condara Fruzzi. Commune di Castelcarcsano. I don't know. It's either Spain or Italy. So I'm gonna go somewhere... Where are the hills? I don't know. Here, here, Trento. Maybe it's not there. Probably. Oh wow, it's in the southern part of Italy, all the way there. Didn't even know that it has hills down there in the southern part of Italy. Would have never guessed it, but you know what? I guess the country is good enough. 
Marionette Road Northwest Hitchhiker. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. US. We have 18 seconds before the timer runs out. Marietta Road, Georgia Division. Well, I don't know where's Georgia. I won't find it, but let's go to Missouri. And that was in Atlanta. View summary. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. With four seconds to spare, we got 11,000 points on the first try. I mean, I guess all of them... Mostly correctly. What do you think, guys? I am a geo-guesser genius, right? It's kind of hard to guess stuff in the United States because... Like, even people living in U.S., they'll have troubles knowing where is the things and everything. Because it's such a huge country and they all speak English there, right? There are so many states, so you'll... It's hard to guess it. But, yeah. I think we did pretty good. There we go. We are Elon Musk. We're co-founders of CEO. So, yeah. To play more GeoGuessr, we'll either need to wait now for 10 more minutes or, or or we need to buy the premium. So we'll see. I kind of miss GeoGuessr for real. It was definitely fun to travel around. It was indeed fun, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Play GeoGuessr Jupiter now. What? All I know is that Canada has more brick houses than USA, says Aloha. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is that in Canada, they have maple syrup. I am true certified Canadian. To all my Canadian homies watching right now, welcome. Hello, hello. But hey guys, I'll be probably wrapping it up, except we haven't done any speed cubing today, but that's fine. We've done GeoGuessr instead of speed cubing. I might get the premium again and we might play more GeoGuessr, or maybe we'll just keep doing those free five minutes of GeoGuessr at the end of every live stream, and I won't have to buy anything. His name is Elon Musk, co-founder and CEO of Tesla, and SpaceX, and Twitter. Yes. So take care, guys. Peace out. Have an amazing day. See you later, alligator. Take care. Do you like chess? I like chess, but I don't have time to play them. Does that make any sense? I like chess, I respect chess, I think they're cool, but I don't have time to play them. It's an investment, don't forget. Yeah, right. Of course, it's an investment. It's like those YouTube streamers and whatever, buying the nano leaf things. You know, like the, the, the lights that they have, like triangles and the walls, they're like 300, 400 bucks. They'll buy those lights and they'll be like, oh, that's an investment for my future YouTube career. Yeah, right. Look at me. I bought the, I don't even know if you can see this, where's the camera? There we go, boom. I bought these things, probably 10 bucks a pair from Ikea and I'm happy with it. Except lights were expensive, but we're not talking about it. The light bulbs themselves. In any case, guys, take care. I'm Elon Musk and see you later, everybody. <laughs> CEO and co-founder Elon Musk. Guys, I'm kidding, I'm not Elon Musk. For legal reasons, I'm not Elon Musk. I'm happy Cyric. But take care. And peace out, everybody. Glad to see all of you here. Take care, guys. It was an amazing day here. It was nice to chat with you. It was nice to hang around. Take care. Take care, take care.